right, so we're going to take on a little bit different project here. We're going to connect a 3070 into a laptop. And we're going to do that with this uh, eGPU from Razer Core. It's called the Razer Core X. And so what this big tower does is we'll flip this thing open and open the sled here in a second. We're able to uh, connect in a desktop GPU into a laptop. So let's go ahead and take a look. This thing is not a carrying handle, it is actually the release handle for the sled. And so once you pull out the uh, Ghostbusters ghost trap looking thing here, um, we'll take it apart here in a second, you'll start to see you know, what's inside of here. So it's basically a giant power supply, a fan, a bunch of cables, and of course the PCIe board to connect in a single GPU. Now this GPU can be a single um, slot, dual slot, three, um, and it can be, I didn't test anything over 300 uh, millimeters, but it, it looks like it can it can handle basically any graphics card currently out on the market, including all the 3070s. So this is a 275 millimeter long uh, Asus GeForce RTX 3070. So I've got about another inch or so, in other words, to, to go. Here's our um, GTX 1080. Uh, from a previous experiment. We put that in and, and tested it with quite a bit of su success. So the whole point of this is to get faster renderings though for architecture. So let's open up Revit, open up uh, Enscape, and see what this uh, can do. So I'm gonna use a test model. It's a 250 meg, give or take, uh, Revit model of a $26 million project I'm currently working on. So let's... Uh, Let's get this thing popped in. Right now it's running a, a Quadro RTX 3000. It's like a little six gig card, but I'm gonna plug in the eGPU unit here and see if I can't get something to pop up. Great. So uh, one thing that we learned is um, that GPU, that des desktop GPU will only get activated uh, if it is on the monitor that it is plugged in. You can't just plug in the eGPU into a laptop and go at it. There's a little bit of finessing um, that we found out um, about this. So as you can see, everything is running on the Quadro RTX 3000 right now. As I mentioned, if we slid everything over um, to a different monitor instead of the laptop screen, pump this on, get this thing back over here. Now we start to see that second GPU get activated. So now it's running off of that um, 3070, which is pretty awesome. So it's taken the load off the laptop's GPU and pushed it over to the desktop card, which um, you could argue will extend the life of your laptop. I'm not sure if that's true, but um, we were able to get some pretty pretty fast results. Um, there's still some pipeline issues. We can only push so much bandwidth through the Thunderbolt 3 connection, and it's pretty bottlenecked at this point. But another reason why you might be here and interested in this video is the RTX 3070 that we were able to acquire in February of 2021 for under $1,000, which is, I'm not even sure how we were able to, to pull that off, but um, here it is. We'll uh, show a couple uh, images of it and give you kind of an overall description of, of what this thing is capable of, and it's pretty insane. So, um, 5,888 GPU cores, 184 tensor cores so we're yeah this thing's pretty much a beast and here's what it looks like set up next to the laptops that we're testing on here so we just slid it closed and, and ran with it so I think I said 275 millimeter earlier it's 267 or 10 and a half inches and you could see in, previously in the video here it's it's basically taken up the entire eGPU container so if you do jump into the you know, 319 millimeter, you're you're pushing your luck. So do check the ultimate length of this. So that's a 13 inch card. That's probably not gonna fit. Um, there's a lot of 20, 3070s out there. So yeah, just, just be careful with what you buy and, and make sure it'll fit before um, it goes in. So uh, 12 inches and under, I can guarantee anything over that, it, it may not fit. So let's test this out on our MSI and Right now the MSI is running a 2060. And so let's see if we can't get this to run here. And so there's our 2060. We just plugged in the 3070 and it's overridden the 3070 and killed our 2060. So um, 
What's interesting is our 1080, when we tested it, worked perfectly fine with the 2060, but the 3070 might be a totally different animal. So let's, here's what that looks like, plugging in the USB-C to USB-C. Let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so with the 2060 not functioning and only using the 3070, it doesn't look like I can use a whole lot of dedicated GPU memory, and it's basically just capped at 0.2 out of 8 gig and there's not a lot I can do here to see what's going on. Neither fan is running on the 3070. So it doesn't work on every single laptop that's out there. Again, the GPU was running fine on the on the 1080, but the 3070 it's got a little trouble with it. So we're going to look into that if that's a driver issue or, or what it is. But otherwise, that's the end of the video. Thanks everybody for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.